During this Black History Month, we're taking a look inside a dance studio in the South Loop, where one man has spent the last 25 years making a difference in the lives of dancers, from professional ballerinas to special needs students. Meet Homer Bryant. He's one of Chicago's very own. So how is this feeling? Um, well, my back's been good. I actually have a Okay, massage. bring it up. Nia Parker has studied ballet since she was a toddler. <laughs> but in the sixth grade, her favorite hobby came to a surprising halt. She was diagnosed with scoliosis. I was definitely wondering, because it felt different, I was like, how is this going to affect my dancing? One, two, three, four, Parker now dances with two metal rods in her back that help straighten her spine. While it's certainly a challenge, there's one man that has her back, literally. Her dance teacher, Homer Bryant. He's kind of like my biggest cheerleader. And like you mentioned earlier with my scoliosis, he really helped me condition back into dance because I had restrictions at first. Step to me. Step. Step. Bryant is the founder step. of the Chicago step. Multicultural Dance step. Center. Countless step. ballerinas have danced step. their way through his intense step. classes, including step. first daughters Malia and Sasha Obama. Pop star Lady Gaga and WGN's very own Gaynor Hall. It hasn't always been glitz and glamour for Bryant. When he was a small boy growing up in the Virgin Islands, dance classes seemed unattainable. My mom said, you must be crazy, boy. We can't afford dance lessons. But my friend, his mama, decided to pay for my first six months of dance lessons. So the rest is history. When he was a teenager, Bryant moved to New York to pursue a professional dancing career. He joined the first African-American classical ballet company, Dance Theater of Harlem. He reached a major milestone in the 70s, performing on Broadway. In 1990, his career led him to Chicago, where he started the Chicago Multicultural Dance Center. We've been here now 25 years. The kids and I have performed, well, I keep saying the kids, the dancers and I have performed all over. <laughs> These kids are talented. I mean, you can see that they, they, they can't stop dancing. They cannot stop moving. The school stands out because of its mission to train children with physical disabilities. In the past, we've had several special needs in wheelchairs. It's an issue that hits close to home for Bryant. His daughter, Alexandra, was born with cerebral palsy. Alexandra lived to be 28 years old. She died in 2010. But when I would bring Alexandra in her wheelchair to watch me teach, she would sit back and you'd see her little fingers just moving and her head would be moving. And I would tell the kids, there's a dancer inside of her. <laughs> so Alexandra was my greatest sorrow, but yet she was my greatest pride and she was my greatest inspiration. And if students can't afford classes, shoes, or leotards, it's not a problem. Just last Saturday, a little girl came in in her tights. I said, baby, where's your shoes? My mom can't afford shoes. So I went in the back, find some shoes and give them a throw. Three, set. Hip, go! Bryant's guidance provides much more than point shoes and pirouettes. We bring them up with self-esteem and self-assurance and, you know, making them believe in the, the image that they see in the mirror. He's always been one of those teachers where if you need or have a problem, if you ask him, he can always help you with it. And I always, uh, I'm just wondering how I can repay him one day. Thank you! Homer Bryant, he's one of Chicago's very own. And next month, Homer Bryant's dancers are performing with the Illinois Philharmonic Orchestra. For more information, go to our website, wgntv.com slash CVO. Mark? Ah, uh, good one.